Welcome to another video guys. In this video I'm going to talk about the 10 most important or most uh, common formulas in school. And there are a lot of different formulas as well, but I mean um, these are like the most common in algebra and geometry. So um, yeah, starting with the most common one, um, probably the binomial series. Uh, there are three cases in the binomial series, so the first one is a plus b squared the second one a minus b squared and I mean the only difference in um, how you rewrite the formula in the end is then that you have the different sign because in the first one with a plus you have a plus over here and in the second one you have a minus um, and in the third case just remember that uh, this 2ab cancels out because of um, the different signs used uh, in, in a combination um, second, probably most known formula is um, the ABC formula or the PQ formula, depends on where you live, uh, depends on your school. Some of you might have learned the ABC formula from the beginning, some of you might have used the PQ formula from the beginning. Um, when does the, PQ, the ABC formula work best? It's for formulas that, are, that look like this, so A times X squared plus B. Uh, plus bx plus c, so for quadratic equations that are equal to zero. But in cases, or in case a is equal to one, you can also use just the PQ, PQ formula, and um, this gives you the same result as the ABC formula. Nothing too wild, just uh, you have to make sure that you use both of this because, because as I already said, it is quadratic, so. And x can be um, can be two different numbers. Um, yeah, third one, we're going to talk about the parabola or the formula for parabola, um, which and in this basic form, uh, the parabola formula um, shows you best because a uh, shows you the slope of the parabola, uh, d shows where on the x axis uh, the the parabola is so depending on how large d is it might be either more to the left or to the right and e shows you uh, where it starts on the y-axis fourth one uh, probably most of one of the most basic formulas uh, for a straight line so a times x plus b this is something that you uh, have uh, to work with on a frequent basis so um, basically a for the slope uh, b shows the intersection point with the y-axis and your yeah, y and x obviously your x and y-axis uh, fifth formula this is something uh, that can be confusing especially if you want to rewrite that down in your calculator so if you want to divide a fraction by a fraction what you can do is if you write that down, just you uh, take the second fraction and uh, use it. Um, use it the other way around. So, if you have one four or one quarter divided by six over seven, you can also calculate one quarter times seven over six, which gives you the exact result or exact same result as if you would divide it uh, with the two fractions. Um, next six formula is. Um, something that I already mentioned in another video um, I mean basic formula for an area a times b gives you the area of a rectangle um, same or almost the same goes for a triangle so you first calculate a times b for the for the area of the whole rectangle and then you divide by 2 because you only have half of the um, half of the area another formula for uh, for triangles, which you probably might know, is um, the Pythagoras theorem formula: um, a a squared plus b squared equals to c squared. What you have to uh, or what you have to remember is that this only works for formula uh, for triangles with the right angle. So um, if you have a right angle, the uh, the side or the leg that is on the other side of the rectangle of the triangle is then um, basically your hypotenuse, so your C. 
And um, if you want to rewrite that, because if you have probably A and B given, then you, this is your formula that you want to use to find um, the length of C. Ninth formula, again, with triangles. So probably the most annoying one, or the most annoying ones, um, yes, sine and cosine. Basically, first of all, what exactly do you use for calculating with the um, it's almost the same as with the Pythagoras formula, but you name the legs different because in here you have to consider the um, the angle. So starting if you have if you use this as your basic base angle, then um, this is your adjacent leg, and this is your opposite leg, and your hypotenuse is always the leg um, that is across the across the right angle. So if you want to find out the numbers for the, um, for example, you use sinus to calculate this angle here. So opposite leg divided by hypotenuse and cosine for the adjacent leg divided by the hypotenuse. And last but not least, to cover all basic forms, um, we're talking about the circle. So most important thing about a circle, it has a radius, which is equal, so radius equal r. This is like the most common way to name it. What else can you calculate on the circle? You can calculate the circumference, so it's 2 times pi times r. And if you want to calculate the area, again you have to use pi, and you calculate pi times r squared. Thank you guys for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any specific question or any specific mathematical problem, uh, let me know in the comments down below, and I will make sure that I go through it and make a video about that.